listening to the sounds of <laughs> DJ Nigger Dave. DJ Nigger Dave in the mix. Let's get started. The truth that sets you free may also tear your life apart. Hey, y'all. Get it up. Make a biscuit. It's the Michael Carr, your morning show. I am DJ Got Nigga Dave, and let's just get it straight. These are not day before glasses, so let me just take that off, okay? I just came with my own bootleg glasses on today because I've been checking the mail like a like a sick puppy waiting for medication from the vet. One of these days, I'm going to have them on, and I'm going to have them on early in the morning. What's going on? It's the Call Your Clan checking in, y'all. What's happening? Mr. Stovall, what's going on? Moses, we had a great conversation the other day. Let's get this thing going. Dep- So get your big butt up and up, up. It is Wednesday. Hump day, y'all. Got to get the hump to the hump of the hump in. It is. Well, you know where you are. I hope you woke up with an attitude of gratitude. This is going to be a very interesting show. As y'all know, whenever we have little glitches, we always have our best show. You know what? I have to say, that's how I am in performance. I know, like, when I'm performing somewhere, if, um, like, if I'm really, really tired, I know I'm going to have my best show because I push so much harder to make sure that I stay at the level of performance I'm used to doing that I usually go overboard and it's really, really a good show. Today, uh, we only got like two guests today. So today you're going to see the team do their thing. You're going to find out what it's really about today. But why don't we just go on and start with that chicken? Girl, we got to get the dog on thing started. Let's see what my chicken is. Oh, that chicken right there. It's the Michael Collier Morning Show. I use that name. 
go figure. It's the Mike and Kaya Morning Show. Good morning. It's the Mike and Kaya Morning Show. Ring the bell. Hey! Good morning, everybody. I hope you started your day with an attitude of gratitude. We was confused, at least me, running around and trying to figure out who's going to be on the show, who ain't going to be on the show, who's checking in, who didn't check in. But still, it feels good to get up in the morning, move about. Move it about a little bit, y'all. Don't just sit there. Get up, lady. Put that biscuit down. It's too early for all this. All right, y'all. I think you're just about ready to go. I think this is the 28th, but it could be the 29th. Uh, but do, 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 do. I got travel music. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's Wednesday. So uh, it is the 29th this evening. Clifton Powell going to be doing his thing on the Superstar interviews. So make sure you see that. And let's go and get started with the show. We got to go with the show. We got to go. This first time I let the music play all the way out. Gotta go with the show. All right, all right, all right. Let me quit playing. Let me get the folks on. on. First of all, let me bring in the hostess with the mostest. Um, Miss Ashley, uh, Miss Ashley Gales is really helping make everything balanced. We're getting the balance. We need to make this thing take off. You know, it was just me and and DJ Dave here, these hard legs around here giving our opinion. But now we have a softness, a, a, a gentleness to add to the show with wisdom and and, and courage and comedy and. Let me quit talking about it. Just bring on, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Ashley Gale. Woo, woo, go to woo, 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 woo. Where's she at? Anna. Woo. Oh, there she is. What does that mug say? That's my Wonder Woman. Let me see if I get it in it. There you go. There it is, Wonder Woman. Woo, woo, woo. How are you Woo, this woo, woo. Good morning. Good morning. Let me put that down. I, I had to show off my shades because. I uh, love DJ, those DJ that nigga Dave is getting upset. He hasn't got. He didn't his, get it yet. He didn't get them, so I just wanted to show him Man, just a little anticipation. That. Did he mm. don't even have one pair yet? Not I don't one. understand. It's it? terrible. I, I know he's supposed to be sending him some. Yeah. David Ford, mm. and he haven't. He is didn't come yet. David Ford. No. Uh, I wonder what's wrong. I don't David know. Well, I'm trying to see. Hope he don't take it personal, David Ford. Oh, he uh, gonna us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in and see what he got. I know he back in the back. Like, he's I know he is. Right he about to jump on here, give us some salty salt. Like <laughs> I can taste hey, it on the on up. the DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know, you know what we should do, Dave. Let's let's go to the speaker. And let's bring David on right now. Let's oh, bring him on. on let's right call him and say, "Dude, where are these where where are these glasses?" I got some. Uh, I, went to, I went to the liquor store and got some bootleg David Fords. Oh, oh, they on him already. There's some David Fords at the liquor store already. <laughs> I'm feeling a little Missy Elliott. I can't really stand right? the rain. <laughs> <laughs> you just need that puffy suit. You gotta put a trash bag on. Put a trash yeah, bag yeah. on. Oh, don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. I watched last night. What? BMF. Have y'all seen BMF yet? I haven't uh, seen it yet. Nope. Yeah, uh, I saw a little bit of that, and I got sleepy. I really liked. I mean, that was only the first episode, so I just know it's gonna even do more. But I liked how it started. I like the story it's telling. Hold on. Yeah. Me, well, in other news, oh, our yeah, Kelly was... has finally been been indicted. Yes. Has he been sent? Oh sentenced? my goodness. And still got yeah, four more states to go. <laughs> what? And wait a minute. He got found guilty on all charges, y'all. But but wait, we calling David Ford right now. Hold up, hold up, hold up. And then we going to matter of fact, while we call David Ford, what I want to do is ask the audience, what do you think? Should was he is he guilty? Is he not guilty? And how do y'all feel about it? David? Y'all still playing his music? Y'all gonna still play some arcade? As a DJ, I, I shut it down pretty early. And well, hold up. He, he's on. He's on. David Ford, you live. Uh we all wearing our glasses except David, DJ Dave, and he pouting and crossing his arms and making faces. Tell him, tell him, do not pout. I've had a very long week. Uh we have something going in the mail for him. My dad is sending him out Friday. Do okay. not pout. He said, do not pout. Y'all heard that. Do not pop. Yours is going out Friday. Good. Now we can get him to get quiet. He's getting on our dog on nerves around here. <laughs> Squeaky wheel get the oil. Mm -hmm. 
You is right. You. Say on Saturday, we're preparing for billboards on Times Square. So it has been uh, crazy. Ooh, oh, that's two. awesome. Okay, so he's preparing on billboards online. He's, it's been crazy between that and stuff he's doing, family stuff. It's been... T- <laughs> Don't you, don't you. All right. So Friday. All right. I call, I had to get you online because he, he didn't quit making that thing. All right, David, we'll mm-hmm. see you, man. Our prayers are with you. And congratulations on getting your billboards up. I'm still waiting for my commercial, nigga. I know. I know. All right. Talk to you soon. Love you, bro. Thank you, nephew. Bye. Bye. David Ford, y'all, the, the guy with the, wait a minute. Let me, let me show, let me show you this thing. Hey, DJ Dave, David when you, Ford. when you, uh, when you got your intro done for your, uh, name drop, right? Mm-hmm. Did she do her teeth like this when she said it? You're <laughs> listening to DJ Dave. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> she, she didn't want to do it at first. She didn't want to do it at first because uh, I had my people do it. And yeah. and, and uh, she was like, oh, I can't say that. He's like, no, no. So, so she had to go online and Google me and find some stuff to make sure that this wasn't like some DJ. stuff that's going to get her in trouble with the company. And uh, she did it. DJ Nigga Dave. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought it'd be appropriate. I used to live in England as a child, so I thought it'd be appropriate that she would do my drop. So oh, it worked. with the British what teeth part? and We're everything. At England. In Lake and Heath Air at- Force Base and Mildenhall Air Force Base. Nice. Also, oh, do you know Harrods Department Store? Harrods? Isn't that in London? Harrods. Harris, yeah, yeah, that's it's big. That's a that's a big, big one. That it, it's not in Lake and Heath or Milton Hall. It's, it's in London. <laughs> right, it's right. It's it's in uh, Knightsbridge in England. Because mm-hmm. I would stay at the hotel maybe six blocks away called the Chelsea, and that's the first time I had roasted chestnuts. Chestnuts oh. roasting on the open, and they sit right outside with a little container. And they hit worst stuff I ever had in my <laughs> life. It was Mush. so bad I want to throw it at them. It was it tastes like punishment. Okay. Woo. Hey guys. Um good thing you brought up there, young lady. R. <laughs> Kelly um was uh convicted on all charges. I mean, he can get no break. Wait, first of all, it's case that number two. He has to stay, huh? That's his well, second run. He got two, he got a little bit more to go. He's on tour. Oh, yeah, he's got another one to go. But on what he's already <laughs> not doing, on tour, he has to wait till May. To get sentenced, so yeah. he had to stay in jail till they find out how long he gonna be in jail. And uh, the fact Dude, of it too is, uh, he's also now a a sex offender that he has to register everywhere. So I I wanted to put the question to our audience uh, with all the stuff that went down with him and with the guilty verdict and everything. Are you still gonna listen to R. Kelly music? Yes or no? <clears throat> All right, folks. Saying? I'm in. Uh, as a DJ, we were just saying it. As a DJ, I um I shut it down pretty early because I was like, I ain't got time to people be coming up to me opinion, a you know, doing their political opinion while I'm trying to spin. So I just said, I'll just take it out. And uh, but I got more R. Kelly than the law allows. So I I, I like so, that uh, so okay. Here's the people. Somebody so. Uh, Cynthia Kamadi is saying no. She's not listening to the music. Valley says she's still listening. David Ford said, yep, he's going to listen. Moses is going to listen. States. So, okay, so, no, somebody said, no, his his, his lyrics has um, hidden innuendos. Now. I, I don't know if they're hidden. I don't know. Are they hidden? Nope. When because said, my man said, uh, my body. My mind's telling me no. <laughs> that's not really hidden. But, that's what, but, what, but what, that's, what you that's. Think? I don't know, Michael. I don't know if that necessarily says that he's talking about young girls. That's just talking about not wanting to have sex. You know? Oh, no, it doesn't mean young girls, but it's hard not to attach it. You know, when you think that they they talked in the case about Aaliyah being 13 when he started uh, hanging out with her in a physical well, way. Well, he, did, he um, did get the uh, parents' permission. He did have them sign a uh, parental, uh, which I don't understand for the life of me. Wait, he got parents' permission to have a relationship with a third Because she was young enough to get married, but she still had to have the uh, parental uh, yeah. s- sign-off. So they signed mm-hmm. off on her. Mm-hmm. Wait. Okay, I'm lost. Where is that legal? you telling me that in the United States, if your parents sign off, you can get married at 13. 
If yep. your parents sign off on a lot I mean, of things that, that you can do. only in Tennessee, but that's the... <laughs> No, I, I, I don't know. I don't remember what state it was, but he, they definitely signed off on that like a used car. I mean, they, they were greedy. Their hands was kind of yeah. You it, you paid a yes. Nick, uh, DJ Nick Day, he put it out there. If uh, that was my daughter, and I don't have children. We'd have some I mean, problems. You consider the whole story behind it. Like, do you know when they were sitting down, all those people were confessing about what they witnessed? And yeah. I'm like, you guys mm -hmm. are the monsters because yeah. you sat quiet until you had a whole platform to sit down and do it on television. That's disgusting. Yeah, that's disgusting. Well, that's period. And, well, and that too, and also the parents. So many of the parents didn't say anything until mm -hmm. this thing went crazy. That's what was 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 really um throwing me off of we have we have a guest coming on in a moment uh don williams and wilson i'm bringing you up in one moment i just want to we want to we want to talk about this for just one more moment um ro just said he already got the money that's what i was sale, thinking so i'm gonna continue to play the music um hmm, <laughs> I, I don't i don't i don't know I don't, I mean, like, like, uh, Cynthia Cromati said, I don't really play his music that much anyway. Yeah. So it's not an issue, uh, for me, but I think we still need to keep our eye on this case. We need to see how it unfolds and, and how they treat him because man, but you know what, Michael, get all day long. Uh -huh. you know what I was going to say, they have, remember I was mentioning the song that I was listening to, uh, what's this? I think it was when he was with the group groove theory. Wasn't that the name of the group he was in? Group, ther uh, group therapy. Mm -hmm. It's groove theory. Groove therapy. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, no, I don't think it was group therapy. I, yeah, I think it was groove therapy, but I'm not sure. Go but ahead. it, he, they, the song was vibe, and at the end of the song, he's naming all these chicks that he's saying has the vibe. She got that vibe, right? And he says, "Lil right. Aaliyah got it," and I'm like, I never heard that before. And when I heard it, I'm like, oh my god, this was going on before he even became a solo artist, mm -hmm. like. He, oh, you heard this, that in the music? Yeah, the I heard The Aaliyah he, part? Lil, uh, he says, Lil Aaliyah got it. Lil Aaliyah got it. And I was like, wait. <laughs> this song Mike, came out like 87, didn't it? Mike, did you wait, ever have any yeah, uh, interactions with him? Uh, I'm going to tell you about mine with him. And I, that's why I, I don't care throw the key away. Playing basketball in L.A., all the celebrities mm -hmm. we used to come to the Hollywood Wide, but he came in with his entourage and they tried to run the place. They was pushing people out of the way, like move that, like it was a backstage concert and they had that attitude. And um, mm -hmm. um, I don't care what you say, you come to LA, you get that LA element and you never know who's sitting over there with their gym bag over there. That's all I got to say. That's how, that's just how it is in LA. You just can't, but he came in very funky, very bad attitude. And all his entourage had funky attitudes and, uh, they was owning everywhere they went, so it was just like, all right, see what happens. Jeff Rich is funny. He said, I believe I can't fly. <laughs> I believe I can't fly. Uh -huh. You know what? You know who I want to ask our musical artist today because this gentleman is um, a very spiritual brother. You know, he's a minister and he's a minister of music. So I'm going to ask him when we get it, when he get him on. But first, I want to bring on because you haven't met. Wilson. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring on Don Williams and Wilson, because they need to come and meet Miss Ashley Gale. Ladies and gentlemen, Don Williams and Wilson in the house. Good morning. How y'all doing? Hello. Morning. Good. Good. How you doing, Ashley? Hey. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Girl, you're signing in the cup of on a Monday morning. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's enough. That's enough. Hey, so good morning, sir, and good morning, young man. How you How's it going? Hey, I'm checking on Ashley, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Girl, you found it in water oil in the hand of a kid. Oh, <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah, and I don't need him to sign for me to take you either. I'm old enough. So how y'all doing today, man? How you doing, uh, Don? Hey, we're doing well, working hard. We just performed at the um, Luxor in um, Vegas. Oh, nice. I love yeah. Vegas. Yeah, with Chris Thomas. Man, it was a beautiful I've never been. I've never been. 
I was asking her, has she been in Luxor? Have you been to Vegas? Oh, yeah. I've been several times. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I'll take, I'll so, take her to the Luxor. <laughs> Listen, you man. Promise? We're, we're talking. I promise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, Seems like you're ready. I'm in a good way, though. In a good way. There you go. This is a family show. We're going to keep it family. Hey, I just want you to jump on this morning and say hi because I know y'all haven't had a chance to meet Miss Ashley and, and she's the, the co host here now, the new co host. And so everything is smooth now. We, we rolling. And I want her to see you, though, uh, Wilson. You know, well, I already looked you know, her up so. already. Uh, Alexa, Alexa, uh, Ashley, Ashley is fine. <laughs> well, I missed you guys on my morning reading for the books for the kids yesterday. So I hope you guys will come next Tuesday and read with us. Definitely. And with and Roscoe, of course, and the rest of the guys. Yes. And Roscoe will be there. He missed you. He actually asked about Wilson yesterday. So we will see you uh, on the show with us next Tuesday, brother. Please okay, come okay. with us. Tell people, tell folks how they can find you. Well, they can find us right here in the bathroom. He ain't doing much. Listen, man, stop embarrassing <laughs> this guy. Yeah, he, he, he's on his uh, pandemic tour from the bathroom to the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yo, don't, don't pay that no mind. This guy is tripping. But we're at um, Don William and Wilson Show on Instagram, Don William and Wilson Show. And they can check out the website as well. Just got that done yesterday. Oh, nice. Yeah, they can. Don't listen to this guy. Just, yeah, the website and um, Don William and Wilson show on the gram. But we're about to do some things in LA as well, sir. Well, come on and let us know when you get ready to do it, okay? I appreciate you. If I could just say you look very good and we, you know, send RIP to AJ Johnson, man, a great loss mm -hmm. to the comedy world. Mm -hmm. Thank you, brother. Blessings to you. Hey, y'all, please give it up. Wait, you got to leave us with a woo woo woo. Hear you woo woo woo. All right. Hear you woo 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 woo. Oh, Lord. Jesus and Moses in the table of contents and index. <laughs> Amen. All right. Thank you. Love you, DJ, too. To the world. Man. Thank you, and DJ too. Bye bye, man. Wilson rocking that Adidas. I see. I see you, Wilson. I see you, boy. All right. So hey, uh, just a little bit more on this conversation because the people got interested over here and they threw up some some things. Um, what what Moses was saying is white folks get in trouble, and we still buy their music. So. So I guess he's saying that he would still listen. Um, let me see. Uh, most of all, um, huh? Right. Okay. Well, I guess I'll do with y'all little opinions on it. I guess we can keep it more. Oh, so John, John, was he saying yeah. I'm not going separate the, separate the gift that God gave R. Kelly, and that's all I'm going to say. I don't understand that statement. So, was it, was so it, basically, what he's saying is. And I understand that because, you know, separated. the bigger issue with R. Kelly is not necessarily that he is uh, a predator. Like he he's a mon I don't I want to call him a monster, but he's got his demons. Right. And he didn't get that way by himself. He got that way because of what he went through. And usually most molester mm. molesters and uh, sexual assault offenders become that from being a victim of it first. Right. Hurt so people that hurt be people. The case, yeah, that'd be the case. His talent to be able to write from his heart like that. I mean, set aside some of the things he really didn't see it as a wrong thing. He didn't see it as wrong. And, huh. you know, my thing is that and, and I again, I am not trying to make it seem like he was not wrong. But what I'm saying is one of the most important things in our community is to acknowledge mental health goes unnoticed. It goes it, it goes swept under the rug and it goes swept under the rug until they become these monsters. And then everybody wants to attack them for being the monster. But, and that's why I said, I, I don't think that it's fair 
to hold him only accountable because he had people around him that was pretty much helping him do the sex trafficking. Yeah, they were they bringing these young mm -hmm. girls to him. They were keeping things under wraps. These parents were was so giving me, permission to their kids to stay with him. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can reinterpret what you said. So first of all, you said they came yeah. from somewhere else. So first of all, you're talking about the boy's mama. So the boy's mama and daddy, first no, of all. No, it's his uncle. And, but, because his they uncle. the one put him in that position. Okay, then yeah. you say, well, because it's also uh, mental health is a bad thing. So we say that his mama ain't nothing and the man is crazy. And um, anyway, I was, I was just trying to find some humor in all of it. There's no humor in the actual situation mm -hmm. that went down, but it certainly is a big conversation. You know, and we, we do need to talk about it because mental health in the black community is something that we don't talk about much. And you sexual know? assault. I don't think he was crazy. I just think he was greedy. I, I, I just think that he was someone who got his hands on power and abused it like so many people do. But, of course, it had to come from somewhere. You yeah. know, so hold on. Kelly says she wants to tell us where it came from. Where, Kelly? This stemmed from our Kelly's sister cousin some young lady sexually abusing him as a child oh wow so he all said of that it? stayed yeah. in his psyche <clears throat> all of that stayed in his psyche and his way his sick way of healing with through it was to take advantage of young ladies to keep them quiet and keep them held hostage mentally and uh physically just as he was as a child mm -hmm. where he couldn't speak up for himself so he turned all that around and inter interpreted it that way and somewhere in his mind he said i'm gonna have power and i'm gonna do this this is what his psyche said to him that this is this is how i'm gonna maintain power over women in the world wow yeah. well you know i've said it before and i'll say it again your ego is not your amigo. All right, so uh, <laughs> let us keep rolling. Um, that is definitely a hot topic, and we could talk about it forever if we had forever. But I want to bring Phil on before we go to prayer. In fact, before we even go to Phil in prayer, I have to drop the commercial. We ain't got but one commercial around here. And the curse commercial, Phil, you almost there, man. Thank you. Um, uh, we, the, the commercial we have... Uh, is actually on the topic of prayer. Hi, I'm Pamela Jarman Wade. I'm excited to tell you about my new book, Prayer Seeds, Scriptures, Prayers, Affirmations, and Reflections for Growth. Much of the inspiration for this book grew from the seeds that were planted during my deeper dive into Bible study and intercessory prayer in the pandemic. I know the power of prayer. It is my sincere hope that each prayer and scripture verse encourage you daily. Prayer seeds will give you confidence as you invite God to work in your life. All right. Okay. Prayer will always give you confidence. Prayer will always get you straight and get you on, on, on the right path. Y'all know today mm -hmm. is Wednesday. So it is. I love my job. I love my job. I love my job. Wednesday. So we're about to hit that in a little bit. But first, we're ready to go to Phil. Um, Brother Phil Walters is uh, actually a savior today. Um, putting this show together each morning is its really about a balance that we're trying to find here, Miss Ashley. I usually make the show go over because I put too many people on. But I usually put too many people on because I don't want to have too few people. And then we run out of time and it's just us just talking. Um, so go for the balance. I tried to go for the balance today. And what happened today is one of the people could not make it because you know our doctor, Lakeisha Legree, is actually a physical working doctor. And she's in the uh, OR room, which I didn't find out until this morning. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the slots that was, was missing. Then we tried Moje's boy again, Fonzie, who came back as unprepared as he did the first time. And I said, no, we're just going to release you from the show today. You ain't got to do it because I'd rather you not do it if you're not going to do it with excellence. Well, and I got to just tell his story because he came last time and he was raggedy as all get out and didn't do it right and didn't sing. And, and we just put him off the show. Yeah. Then we went out. Actually, we went out, me and him. We went 
to a show together. And he's oh man, Mike, I was up all night. You know, I didn't get no sleep. And I said, okay, cool, bro. Come back today. Redeem yourself. Mm -hmm. Come on in here, man. Sing your song. Tell everybody, hey, man, I'm sorry I messed it up last time, but I'm professional. Boom, boom, boom. Because he is professional. He writes music for Disney and everything. He come on this morning just bumbling and stumbling around and didn't have the right music. He, he's supposed to be singing his hit song. Didn't have the music. He, okay, y'all, I'm just going to I'm gonna get my gift. I just get, I'm going to get my gift card. Get my gift card. <laughs> get my, now, he said, no, I'm going to. Can y'all hear that? I'm like, dude, if you don't get your crazy corny behind out of here. I'm coming come in there and have to do something. Anyway, all this stuff happened. Meanwhile, my friend Phil said hello this morning. And I was like, oh, we need to grab Phil because Phil, Phil is always ready, you know? Right. Phil said, man, I'm over in my studio right now. Phil, I I don't like to say blind. So Phil, I want you to help me with that because I feel uncomfortable even saying that blind people are blind. I don't know why it feels uncomfortable for me to say that. <laughs> me and Phil will talk about that when he, when he comes on. But Phil, who is unsighted, left his studio. And he said, Michael, I don't have a spotter today. Because usually somebody set the camera. You know, so he, that dude on his own felt around until he set his set. See, that's the kind of example I'm talking about for professionalism. He made sure he set it up on his own last minute, no spotter, ready to play music everything so when i see that you can't come on this show as a non-professional and think you're gonna get a break you ain't getting no break not when phil came here on, on his own set it up and wait till you hear him sing let's bring him on let me quit playing actually look like he was trying to get a word in what were you trying to say to your heart no i was gonna say he started out like this because brother man and didn't have his <laughs> spotter right and then right. he got up. He got up and he went and shifted the camera around. Felt you could see his hands moving. You could see his hand you as he was see. feeling for his camera so he could set his see that. And brother Mac oh, couldn't get the man. sound together. Bill, you can't see this, but I'm standing up to salute you, sir. That's right. That's professional. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about. Right. Let's get him on right now. This this gentleman <laughs> is awesome. And he has a new single out and everything. His name is Phil Walters, and we love him. Get your hands together for Mr. Phil Walters. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. How you doing? Good morning, good morning. Well, how are you? Doing good, doing good. Michael, your mic is muted. Mike, your mic. Mike is Mike. Mike, Mike's mic is, is muted. <laughs> My mic? Or, or Mike's mic? He said, no, it isn't. He said. <laughs> Mike's oh. mic is muted. I don't know Mike. what he did. Did you mute your mic, Mike? Well, welcome did back, Mr. Phil well, Waters. It looked like you on now, Mike. Say something. Okay. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Okay, I'm unmuted. Yep. Yes, you can hear me? Yep. I don't know how it got muted. Uh Phil, I want to introduce you to Miss Ashley Gales. We also know her as the Persian Black Queen. And this is Mr. Phil Walters. Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so excited to hear you you sing. I've heard you do it a couple of times on the show, and I'm looking forward to it. Well, thank you so much. It's an honor to meet you. How y'all doing this morning? Thank you. Man, amazing. Uh, adventurous. Uh, Phil, I need you to help me, man. So how how why is it that I feel uncomfortable saying the word blind when I'm introducing somebody? And there's other uh, blind artists who oh, I also go online and talk to and bring them on, but I'm always uncomfortable saying that. What, what Why? Probably because you are one, and there's not a lot of people out there, but you're one who focus on abilities, not disabilities. So you don't see uh, the challenge, you see the possibilities, and that's probably the why you feel uncomfortable. But if this helps, there's a young lady that shared this with me one day. She used the word visually empowered instead of visually impaired. So, or or physically blind, because when you lose one sense, God will enhance the other. So, you know, I may be physically yes. blind, but that spiritual eye is open now. So, um, but yeah, some people will say uh, in the blind community, that's fine. You can say I'm blind because. Truth be told, when it comes down to my physical eyesight, I am, but I'm much more than my eyes. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And it's also true of you. You're much more than that. You have such a big spirit. You know, you have like a warrior spirit, you know, and you mm -hmm. always come in here on it, ready, professional to do your thing. Man, I just, I'm just blown away that with, even without a spotter, you said yes, and you got it together. And I said, 
well, I need you to be a little bit more to your left. And you took your arm and you pointed that way. And I said, yeah. And you worked your way to the camera, set it up and worked back. And here you are ready to go. I'm proud of you. I appreciate you, brother. How you been? I'll be, I'll be good. And, and without further ado, I want to say thank you. I got to share this with y'all. I know he might not have told y'all, but uh, Michael Collier called me last a couple of Saturdays ago. He said, I ain't want nothing. I just want to see how you doing. You know, in today's world, I got a sister that says, who does that? So it was, it was a it was a blessing that he did that. And then we got to talking and I complimented him on an interview he did with one of uh, uh the queens of gospel and um and how much I admired her work. And he goes, Well, have you met her? And I said, I haven't had the honor yet. He said, Would you like to? I said it would be my honor. And before I know it, I'm on the phone with the great Yolanda Adams. Now that for <laughs> me was was it, it, it was just mind-blowing because it was such a blessing. And then I had a couple of people in the house who were also uh, physically blind, but visually empowered. And a couple of more in your show before. And uh, my wife was there as well. And they got a chance to hear the conversation. And that's just the power of, 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 of God and a heart that is after God's heart. Because you didn't have to do it, you know. And I really wow. she I She was happy too. She was excited to talk to y'all because you had told her that you guys used to rehearse with one of her songs. What song is that? It was, um, I Gotta Believe. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful song. And I was working I with- I don't know that song. I don't oh, know Yolanda wait. Adams, I Gotta Believe. Well, you, you guys would use- And ask her to do it. <laughs> <laughs> that would, a beautiful that'd be song. good if we can get her to do that. Inspirational, inspirational, powerful song. And I was working with a bunch of people who had disabilities that would make mine look like nothing when you're dealing with a quadriplegic mm. and only thing he could do is move his head but he has had that's the gentleman i was telling you about all this joy in his spirit when he sang that song he was not in that chair anymore he was not in that chair his wow. body was but his spirit was soaring you know so um well, I'm, I'm, well i don't think you have i don't think you have any disability sir Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And I'm so honored to have you here this morning. And thank you because you also is a sage. You being here gives us a guest because we ain't have had no guest. We had no guest except our friend Don Williams and Wilson. It's just us. And we're going to make it work because I have such a great team now. DJ, Dave, and, and, and uh, Ashley are just awesome. So we're going to make it do what it do. I'm going to step out the way and let you do what you do. Will you give us a song? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to set it up. This is the first song that I recorded after losing my physical eyesight over 16 years ago. Um, it was a rough time of my life. I went through the whole I'm blind pity party, the whole nine yards until God had to knock me off the couch and say, look, man, you need to get up. Um, and uh, so this song is called I Give It To You, Lord. I didn't have, you know, I lost all the money, the cars, all that stuff went. But I had the gift that God has given me in a voice and the desire to want to serve him. So this song I want to share with you. I'm going to do it acoustically. We're not going to have a whole bunch of backing instruments. It's just me and the piano. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Side. My days 
crying right now man yeah it's amazing and i i know you're reading these things are thrown up but the fire the 100s is going up the hearts god yeah, bless you God. and and everyone uh this chat room remember god loves you i was reading some of them to you uh rose may says happy tears wow. god got me and you and you and you um that was my grandmother's name rosa may god bless you god bless you oh my goodness happy blessed day everybody came out of that i surrendered all to you god i give it yes. to you god god is great this is beautiful yes sir you're worthy father god let me know i'm here rosa may also said phil never fails to bless me with his songs God, thank you for Mr. Phil. Got me in tears over here. Love is real. And this show, love is God. God is real. You know, and man, the love came in here in, in a crazy man. Yes. Sing that song, Mr. Phil. Crystal Coin <laughs> Jackson said, sing that song. So God bless you, brother. That was amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh Miss Ashley, we lost you for a moment. What mm -mm, happened? I had to go get my church gear. I had to go get my church gear. I was ready. I was ready. I got my fan. <laughs> I got my church hat. We I need a new roof. roof. Oh, we need a new roof. I, I was over here. Hey, hey. I was ready. I was going to give it up to the Lord now. It was going. It was going. It was beautiful, sir. It was, was really, beautiful. really amazing. Thank you. Thank and you. it really moved some people. <laughs> it, it was really moved some It moved me. I know that. And further illustrates what professionals do. Man, you came in here, you found your mark, hit uh -huh. your mark and did your thing. I salute that, man. And I and thank you for sharing that story. I forgot that we had talked to uh, Yolanda Adams and she really enjoyed it. She got off the phone and she thanked me and said, thank you for letting me speak to him, you know? So oh, God. God is great, so man. And you're pretty amazing yourself. Tell them about you. Where can they find your music and where can they find you? Yeah, yeah. So, um, I am a singer, songwriter, and producer, and um, I've been doing it now. Well, I actually started producing before I lost my eyesight. Then I had a temporary uh, uh, pause there and had to figure out how to do things a little different. But through God, mm -hmm. I was able to 
readjust. So um, the best place to find me is on my website, uh, philwaltersmusic.com. That is P-H-I-L-W-A-L-T-E-R-S-M-U-S-I-C.com. All the links to my socials are there. Um, please subscribe to my website. I do a blog and actually, uh, Mr. Kalia, you're going to be in the next article as well. I'm just telling a story about how gracious you are and how wonderful you were in introducing me to um, a wonderful um, minister of music, you know, as, you know, Elon Adams is. And it's always been um, one of those great, great um, women of God that I admired their work so much. And um, yeah. thank you for making that happen. I was like, a, 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 you know, what is that? Make a wish kind of thing going on over there. You had going on. <laughs> thank, thank you for humanitarian work, you know? I'm telling you, man. And, and was so cool. They, so they were going, he knows Jelana Adams? I'm saying, no, no, Michael Collier knows Jelana Adams. He just started not robbery to call me and let me talk to her. So, you know. To God be the glory, man. I think it, so. it was fun too because I was in a very dangerous area of um Atlantic City. Atlantic City is like Vegas, whereas if you're at the hotels or the resorts, everything is plush and beautiful. But you walk two blocks away, you are in the worst ghetto neighborhood ever. And people walking by tweaking and that whole thing. But I felt a calmness because we were talking about God as I was walking. So it was it was really cool. It's a moment I'll always remember too, sir. And I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. Leave us with a woo, woo, woo. <laughs> you know how I do it. <laughs> Give it up, y'all. Bless the house this morning. Yeah. Oh and, man, uh, it's the Michael Kaya morning show. I appreciate Phil so much. Thank you, bro. Uh, oh, now look, look here, look here. I gotta do our prayer now. After prayer, we're gonna get that money away. Um, uh, we, I don't even know what's gonna be in the package, but I'm gonna tell you, we'll put together a really good uh basket uh to go along with a hundred dollars. So you'll win more than a hundred dollars today. And I love my job. And Michael, I have to also, yes, I'm gonna tell you now that man sound like a gospel Maxwell. Because when he first started, I just knew nice. there was a time your love was one new. It was coming out. I was like, oh, he about to give us some Maxwell. And he did. He actually sounds mm -hmm. like Maxwell. Like, no bull. He's a, it's a really blessed what he does, you know. It's, it's yeah. really cool. And then he came on and killed it like that. Came on at a moment's notice, you know. That's... Vocal cords is ready. I, I'm moving. <laughs> huh? Sound was ready, Voice vocal was cords ready. was ready, everything was ready. Hey, let me uh, remind folks that today we're going to celebrate uh, the life of Anthony A.J. Johnson, who you guys know as Ezel um, from uh, Fridays. Um, I, I don't know if, well, this was the fundraiser they did last night, just a tribute last night at the um, at the J spot. So a lot of comics came and supported him there tonight. I mean, this evening, this afternoon, there's a service, but I'm not sure if it's open to the public. And we'll see. I don't see where my phone is. I haven't moved. Oh, there it is. Uh, because I need to call and make sure that it's open to the public, you know, because oh, okay. they're the one they're doing this evening. So, uh, and if that is, then I'm going to go ahead and give y'all its information. Oh, no. The one this evening is not open to the public. It's just for family. Um, and that's the one you're okay. going to. And the one, yeah, the one we're going to do tonight. And I'm going to uh -huh. speak at that one tonight. So I guess it's just for family and friends. I wasn't sure. I just want to make sure that if it was open, because I had the flyer. The yeah. flyer's on here. I'm about to throw the flyer up. But I just looked, and his wife had just texted me back and said, no, this was just for family and friends. And I, and I just wanted to say, he was um, he was cool. he was was cool. so cool with me. Um, he was a, a really rough and outlandish character, but he was always respectful to me. You know, if we needed to call on him, he would show up and he would do the right thing. And even for a while, I was doing comedy. Uh, and I got to send some love out to a comedian named Hurricane. We were doing comedy at... Um, Mavericks Flat. Mm -hmm. You know Mavericks Flat here in LA? Mm -hmm. Mavericks Flat was a club. It's gone now. But it was a club on Crenshaw Boulevard that was really built so that black people 
who had money would have a really nice club that they could go to mm -hmm. and not have to go to Beverly Hills and Hollywood. So it's right, right at the foot of um, what are Baldwin Hills. So Baldwin Hills, a lot of the wealthier black people bought mansions and stuff in there. And they didn't come to the bottom here. So it was opened in the 70s, but everybody played there. You know, the mm -hmm. Commodores, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Red Fox. Everybody played this little smoky little club. And then last year, I would do comedy over there. AJ would drop in and do comedy with us. And Hurricane, his boy Hurricane, whose church I know that the event is going to be at, would bring him around when he was, you know, dealing with the struggles that we all deal with as artists out here. Mm -hmm. We work for a while, there's hard to find work, and we sometimes might dance with some some other demons, but yeah. at the end we gotta just be the humans that we are, and Hurricane was always that for him, so I gotta salute him. Mm -hmm. You know? Did you know AJ? I didn't personally get a chance to meet him. I knew who he was, but I definitely get, didn't get a chance to meet him personally. It's a lot of great people, great talents that are mm -hmm. just falling off you know, that are transitioning that I'm like, oh, my God, I got to hurry up and, and get somewhere to where I can meet these people because this is unfortunate. How, you know? how crazy is COVID? I mean, COVID is taking people out left and right and not just uh, the physical person, but the jobs, the, the opportunities. So much stuff is disappearing, mm -hmm. you know, so we have to learn how to navigate the waters of COVID. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And I mean, and, and it's, also, it's like work. a transfer of wealth, too. You know, it's just like a transformation. One has to the head and becomes the tail and the tail becomes the head. You know, like things can't shift without chaos. It has to be some kind of chaos for things to shift and be placed where it's supposed to be. So, you know. Then once again, back. that's the importance of prayer. Because that's the yep. thing that gets us through everything. I've never had anything happen to me that I couldn't solve it through prayer. That's because right. it wasn't prayer was the connection to God. It's the conversation exactly. with the Lord that yep. changes everything. Uh, Clifton Powell is my superstar interview for this evening. Let me hit this uh, promo. Get those little fat fingers together for Mr. Clifton Powell. Whoa! I remember when I first got to California and I was out on Venice Beach. I would see you out on Venice Beach. And I said to myself, if this cat can stay focused and stay disciplined, he's going to be working in this business. So the encore performance of that runs this evening at 6 o'clock on YouTube. Please check it out. And then next week, I'm so excited about this. Next week, I get to interview B. Simone. Um, and you know, just go to just go to her if y'all don't know who she is, or if you think you know who she is, and you ain't sure, please go to her Instagram and check her out. She's just the coolest person, and mm -hmm. I want to ask her questions about how did she get to her wealth. You know what I'm saying? Because this is a young lady who figured out how to become a billionaire. You know, with a clothing line, with her comedy, with her with her social media stuff, and every day I'm still on that track to learn how to do that mm -hmm. properly, you mm -hmm. know, so how to get to it. Now, I don't right. care. It doesn't have to be proper. Anyway, I can get to it. I'm going to get to it. You know, because I'd like to be able to shop. I'd like, wait, I don't know if you saw this, but um, um, who's the guy? Who's wilding out? What's his name? You talking about Nick Cannon? Yeah. Nick Cannon. Wilding uh, out? Snuck into, yeah, he snuck yeah. into the hangar where they keep the private jet for Kevin Hart. And painted his picture on the entire plane, so the whole plane is is Nick Cannon on the side of it, and so he pranked him like that. That's the kind of money I want us to have, Ashley. Enough money where I can sneak into the hangar and paint my face on your private jet. Let's that's go. the kind of money. And let's we go. got. We got. Well, that's what we're doing. We have manifestation. A manifestation. That's what we're doing. We're not even wishing for it anymore. We already planning for what we're gonna do. When it, it, it finally comes, like it's already here. That's we are right. millionaires. That's we right. are billionaires, Michael. You know, we it, got it. Absolutely. We, we're already in because we're saying that we feel it. Okay. It's right. beautiful. Okay. Now, look, I got to go to prayer. I was trying to make sure I don't miss any of these things. So I made notes today. That's another thing. I be missing stuff. Mm -hmm. Did you, were you about to say something? Dear? Nope. I was getting ready for prayer. I was going to go into my meditation. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
we we didn't get a chance to talk much about the Tony Awards, although we made fun of the outfits. But I did want to make sure that we understood that a soldier story uh, won. And a soldier story is a black play that's off the chain. We saw it as a play, we saw it as a movie, and now it's a play again on Broadway. And I, I had an opportunity to go see it and to see my friend star in it, Blair Underwood. And I also got to give props to David Allen Greer, who mm. is a tremendous actor. And they killed the doggone thing. Um, and uh, let me see, we, we talked about uh, Ezell uh, tonight, Clifton Powell. Next week, B. Simone, October. Six right here on the superstar interviews, uh, 6 p.m. Uh, let me see. I love my job, it's right after prayer. Don't worry, yep. tomorrow, rooftop. Oh, tomorrow, I'm doing a gig on the rooftop. Uh, it's called the Rooftops Sound. Wait, I got a thing for that. It, Roz Washington is a very funny comedian, and Roz Washington does this thing called comedy karaoke. Now, I, I ain't gonna be doing no singing, I just want to be clear on that. I will not. Be doing any singing, but this is it tomorrow, tomorrow night, Thursday. And she does every Thursday comedy karaoke. Uh, and she's funny, she she is she's hilarious. And I'll be the, the special guest on that. So, tomorrow, if you're in Los Angeles, check it out, check it out. I'll be there doing a little comedy in LA, which is a rare thing for me. I don't do comedy here that much because people don't want to give you no money in Los Angeles to do comedy. Did you know this, Ashley? I did it, but I was ready to sing. I thought you said karaoke. I was I was getting ready. They do karaoke and comedy. They blend them up. Oh, that's interesting. So you're not going to do the karaoke, but you got to do karaoke. Come on, Michael. That would be different. I can sing now. I Don't know. make me break into it. I get... Let's go. Okay. I'm just saying. No, I, I, I ain't going to do it. I'm going to save myself by going and doing this prayer. And prior to the prayer, remember, y'all, please tip your waiter. Uh, I want to thank <laughs> Pamela Jarman Wade, Letitia, Stephanie Joseph, uh, uh, Denora M. Boone, E. Baby, and Michelle Tanksley. Those are the last folks who blessed us by going to uh, Michael Callier's money, which is not my money. It's the money to help give the give to you guys. Because like I said, we've already given eighteen over $18,000 out in money and gifts. And I swear to you, 95%, not 80% of that came directly from me. And I would love it if you guys to help pitch in. Throw in $4 here. Two over here, five right there. Here, four there, five everywhere. Five, five. Old McKay has a show. E I E. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, okay, I'm let me get ready, to the prayer point. Ready, ready. I, hey. <laughs> I beg so much, my hand look like a cup, don't it? Okay. Oh. Um. All right. Let me get to the prayer. And pardon me, uh, Miss Ashley. Let me go talk to the people. <sighs> wow, this was a most interesting show. You know what I like about it most is that it's just real. You know, live television is really not live anymore. Reality TV ain't real. They script that stuff, most of it, and then they let you just act out. But for us to just be able to hear and flow, whatever happened, happened. If an artist show up, they show up. If they do good, they they good. If not, we pull a lever, give them the trap door, see ya. Um, but at the end of the day, we do mean love. We mean no harm to anybody. Uh, I like Fonzie. I hung out with the dude. He's a good dude. But he can't come back here no more unless he get together now. He probably don't want to come back here. He worked for Disney. He don't need this show. Anyway, we going to be here every day having fun, light, love, sharing, and fellowshipping because that's just what we do. That's what we do. And now I got a crazy lady on here with me, too, that takes it to the next level. And we got the DJ to the stars. We cooking with oil, baby. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. Let me get started. Uh, I always like to start with a holy breath. I hold that breath in while I think of something positive for the day. Let the service today for Ezel, A.J. Johnson, be magnificent with no flaws. <sighs> Let me come out of that for a moment because <laughs> our friend Ricky Harris is a great comedian, was a great comedian. And um, I got I to tell you this. So Ricky, Ricky, you can see him in the movie Heat. He's also a great actor. He's a great comedian. And he was brilliant. And he had one routine he he would do because last night I was on. What's that thing? Um, what's that thing where everybody just come on and talk and they have different rooms and you can come uh, in and talk house. and they. Thank you. So I was on Clubhouse, right? And it was co comedians talking, and we was talking about using other people's material, and I was like, some people's material. I think you should use it if they gone red fox. 
75 comedy albums. We just gonna throw 75 comedy albums of jokes away. No, you can use them. So I'm not gonna use Ricky's piece, but Ricky has a brilliant piece he would do. Ricky told a piece, he told a story about how these three gangbangers kicked the doors in the church. Church was in the middle of service. They kicked the door in. They had guns. They shot all through that, all through the roof. Bah, 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 bah. Everybody was laying on the ground. People were screaming. A couple of people ran out the door. The gangsters walked up on the stage. They looked into the audience and they said, how many of y'all in here love God? If you love God, let me see you raise your hand. Everybody raised their hand. How many of y'all love God enough to die for God? And the hands start coming back down. He said, well, if you're willing to die for God, you stay in here. If you're not, get out of here right now. And everybody ran out, even a minister. It was like three little, little old ladies left. And then after they cleared the room, the gangsters put their guns down on the stage and said, now we got all them fake Christians out of here. Let's have some church. Brilliant, brilliant artist, Ricky. And, and so they, DJ Dave will tell me the story today about when he went to the funeral for Ricky. And, and I went, and it was in the hood, hood, hood. I was telling him that I wore a full as me coat because I was just showing off. But when I got there, I was like, this is not the place to wear no clothes. I saw so many gang bangers. You know, it was like one of them neighborhoods where the police caught you on the corner and you didn't have a pistol. They give you one. So anyway, I'm sitting here in this little church. I'm nervous. I'm, I'm, I, I ain't nervous because I'm you know, gangster. But I'm just saying I'm wary. I'm alert. And I'm sitting here in this coat. So as soon as I listened to some of it, I get up and made my way back to my car. And like I told him, I was walking hard, too. You know, like when you walk through the hood and you got something you want to keep, don't walk through there like a sheep. The lions eat the sheep. You got to walk through there. I'll bite your head. I wish you would look at me. I'll kill you and your mama. You know, so I'll get back to my car. Oh, thank you. And then I come to find out there was a fight in the dog on a uh, funeral later in the fight. I'm not going to say the names of the people because some of them are stars, but a fight broke out at a funeral home, you know? So I was thinking about that because that's why I said I was starting my prayer and I was saying to God, please make sure that it's a beautiful, only positively eventful homecoming today for Ezel. Getting back into my prayer. <sighs> Father God, just let the day be possible. Wonderful. More than possible. Outstanding. Awesome beautiful and full of grace. Whew. Father God, as we invite you into our hearts, our souls, our spirits to fill us with your love, your peace, your passion, we also want to just say thank you. Thank you for bringing us together. Thank you for life. Thank you for love. Thank you for Phil Walters coming in here, man. Phil Walters ain't blind. I don't care what nobody say. Phil Walters stomped and he stomped his feet in here and sang that song that hit us straighten our hearts. So, Father God, thank you for Phil. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my mom and my daddy. You know what? I don't know how many times I've said thank you to my father. You know, I always say thank you to my mother because she's always just in me and around me and, and guiding my every thought. But thank you to my mother and my father. Wouldn't be here without them. Love them. Love how they raised me. Father God, I pray that you bless us today and bless us indeed. I pray that you enlarge our territories greatly. I pray that your hand will be with us. God is past evil and we will cause no pain. And I pray that you just hug us and love us and guide us and make sure that this day is awesome and wonderful in every possible way and that we meet no enemies, that everybody we meet is a friend. Thank you for perfect health. Thank you for an opportunity. Thank you for the team. Thank you for the clan. This is going to be a super califragilistic expialidocious day. I know it. I feel it in my bones. Something special is going to happen. Something special is going to happen to you today. Something special that you didn't see coming is going to happen to you today. I, I speak these words, and there is power and truth in the word. And I'm saying this. I'm putting this blessing on you. It ain't me blessing you. Father God does the blessing. I ain't in the blessing business. I'm in the hoping and the wishing business. And I'm hoping and the wishing that you have one of the best days you've ever had in your life, man. And you say, we start out by watching Michael Kyle's morning show this morning. And it was raggedy. And people didn't show up. Some people showed up, wasn't even ready. Some showed up was spectacular. But they had fun and they laughed and they prayed. And I'm going to march out there and have a great day myself. And so I say thank you for all of it, Father God. Heal anyone that needs a healing. Lift them up with joy and love. And so we say, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. I mean, I say, boom, shakalaka. And a woo to the woody woo, woo, woo. And that's all I got to say about that. Come on back, young lady. 
I'm sorry. Sometimes I get carried away. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Where my D to the J? DJ, where you at, baby boy? Time to get his money away now. <laughs> so hilarious. Okay. We got that dog going to feel Walters or something. Yeah, he's burning. That dude. You okay, all right, all right. You, you all, all right, right over there? You need all some right, coffee? All right, all right. That no, I'm good. Uh -huh. Okay, just make sure he got his coffee. He it looked like he needed a little something. I just moonshine. Oh, uh, you know that ain't water either. Okay, <laughs> this is for I love my job, and then we're gonna let y'all get out of here. It's right at eight o'clock. We made it to eight o'clock, y'all, with what with two guests, Let's three because you gotta also count Wilson. All right, I'm pulling up past, so I ain't looking. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, see Drop you guys. Oh, wow. I've seen this person a long time ago. I don't know if this person still peeks in or not. Let's see what Hang happens. Up. All right. Okay. Okay. It is time for I love my job. I love my job. I love my job. Folks, if you don't have your name in this hat, you're fooling around. Go to my email, comicking123 at AOL.com. Put in your name and number and right now, I love my job. And I'm going to call you just like I'm calling this person right here. And if they pick up the phone and say enthusiastically, I love my job, I love my job, I love my job, they win $100 in a basket full of stuff. I don't know what the stuff is yet, but I'm, I promise you it's going to be a good one because I haven't sent out the stuff in a while. I've just been giving the money. Today, the money and the stuff is going to go. We're hitting the phone. One ringy ding. <laughs> ring a ding ding, baby. Thank you for calling. Please hold while we connect your call. See what happens. Hmm. One ring. <laughs> I, I say hello. Hello. I love my job. Whoa! Oh, I think they did it. <laughs> all right, say it again. I love my job. I love my job. Okay, all right. You only got two in, but we'll take it. <laughs> this is Gail Keith, y'all. She's in Baltimore, Maryland, retired correctional lieutenant. <laughs> all right. Hey, Gail, you are welcome. Thank you. Give us a woo woo woo. Woo woo woo. Hey. And was that your dog in the background doing a woo woo too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're a correctional officer and you were a lieutenant in Maryland at that. Ooh, I might know God her. bless you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And thank you. So don't worry. We're going to send everything to you. You gave me everything too, girl. You knew you was going to win. So I got your, your <laughs> home address, your phone number, and everything. You are a winner here at the Michael Kaya Morning Show. I hope you have a spectacular day. Are you still watching us each morning? Every day. I love it. Give it up one more time. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. And I will be coming to see you at the Baltimore Comedy Club when you come here in Baltimore. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> in like about three weeks. Yay. Yeah. I'll Thank be there. I'll be there. Thank you, Gail Keith. She is a winner. I'll be sending that money to you shortly. Even the dog going, row, row. <laughs> we dog won, mama. We won. See, ooh, I accidentally showed your number, child. Oh, no, that's a voicemail from somebody else. Okay, all right. See you later. Love you, and thank you so much. Bye. All right. That was good. That worked out. We threw. We out. We were, we were able to go over time with just two guests. So I don't think it matter how many guests. We I'm, I'm still going to talk too much. That's all to it. I'm just going to talk too dog too much. Okay, I, I think we... <laughs> I think we thank everybody. We did everything. Uh, Powell, Rooftop, Rob, Washington, Thursday. Oh, I'm at the J Spot the 8th and the 9th of October if you're in Los Angeles. Thank you, Sabrina. If you're in Los Angeles, uh, 8th and 9th, I'll be doing a little comedy. I'm doing four shows there. It's a Friday and a Saturday. Uh, Ashley, what's up with you? Listen, I'm going to be with you in Baltimore in October, so I don't know what uh, DJ Day doing. I'm gonna be there. Well, you know, my 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 uh my plane is in the shop because we're getting uh, new spark plugs put in. So I, I would fly in for that, but I, I, just, I just can't make it to that one. Don't worry about it. We. I sure thought your plane. It. I thought on your plane you was trying to paint over the picture of me that I had painted on the side. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> Hey, everybody, it's going to be a magnificent day. It's already magical. Now, how it turns out is up to you.
It's about your attitude, baby. Get out there and know you have a great day and you will. Say goodbye, Miss Ashley. Peace, love, and blessings. Have a wonderful manifestation day. And we will see you all tomorrow. Happy hump day. Don't forget about that hump. The hump. All right. Woo woo day. Tell them goodbye. Woo woo. In the, in the words of the great Don Carnitas, peace, love, and soul. Well, that'll do it for me, too, everybody. Hey, remember, God is great. I don't care what nobody told you. So make sure you have a fantastic day. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning on time, on time. We're going to have more artists, though, tomorrow, but we're still going to keep it as close to 8 as we can. I love you. Rosa May, I love you. I miss you, girl. Call me on your daughter phone or something, but I got to hear your voice today. All right, see y'all later. It's the Michael Kaya Morning Show right here. Everybody.